Hi folks, let's have a look and see what was new on Netflix from the 2nd to the 8th of November. After a huge amount was added last week, this week we've got virtually nothing. First up is Disney's Tinkerbell, the first in a direct-to-video series that follows on from the 1953 Peter Pan. Looks like charming family entertainment. Care Bears and Cousins is a new TV show about the Care Bears and their cousins. Does that mean that all Care Bears are like brothers and sisters? Kind of... I always thought of Care Bears as being like, you know, Australians, like a, a race of, of bears. But if Care Bears have cousins, that means they're all interrelated. Now there's more to this franchise than meets the eye. New sitcom called Master of None stars Aziz Ansari about the personal and personal life of a 30-year-old actor in New York. It's been described as similar to Louis, which isn't a bad thing. I've always found Aziz Ansari to be somewhat likeable, if not hilarious. Martin Lawrence's Big Mama's House arrives, the film that inspired Walmart employees to black up. This really is the lowest of the low when it comes to comedies. It's not terribly funny, but to be honest, it does have a few good moments in it. Disney's John Carter is back on Netflix after a brief hiatus. This film didn't do very well at the box office, but I'm going to give it a second chance and watch it over the next week or so. It really does look good fun, colourful bright, flashy, and based on Edgar Rice Burroughs' original text. Think you could do far worse than that? Horror remake Shutter arrives about a newlywed couple who discover some ghostly images on their photographs and have to investigate where they're coming from. I've seen the original Japanese version of this, and it's pretty darn good, so I might give the American remake a bit of a chance. Home Alone 2, the final Home Alone entry with Macaulay Culkin, arrives and proves to be one of the worst excuses for a sequel ever made. It's not a terribly bad film, it's just it's completely unnecessary. It does, however, have a grand performance from Tim Curry, and should only really be checked out for that. And that brings us to my pick of the week, the original Home Alone. A terrific comedy that just packs so much of a punch at every corner. It's, it's surefire seasonal entertainment that the entire family can enjoy. Macaulay Culkin honestly does a great job as the kid, even though he's taken some flack for it in the years after. Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern are terrific villains. The movie doesn't treat itself as a kid's movie, but as a proper family comedy that does have a punch to pull. Well, thanks for watching, and remember to check out what's new on Amazon.